Hello everyone, my name is Don, the movie reviewer, and today we're going to be talking about Sam Elliott, the man with the mustache, in the movie The Hero. This is my first experience with a Sam Elliott movie. <laughs> Up in the air with George Clooney, I did see him in that. But other than that, I haven't watched a Sam Elliott movie while he was in a leading role throughout its entirety. So it's my first experience with Sam Elliott in a leading role, and I saw the hero. Here's my review. Lone Star Barbecue Sauce, the perfect partner for your chicken. That was great, Lee. Can you do one more? Lone Star Barbecue Sauce. Anything else? A job offer, a script? Not at the moment. Love's the king of the games that we play. I want to get past this. You can't just decide to fix things. Give me a chance to write another Love's chapter. Love's the key to the things that you see. But you don't mind moving. It's the door in the dark. It's kind of weird being remembered for one part for so many years. Oh. But it's about as close to immortality as any person can get. A dying actor, played by Sam Elliott, is struggling to deal with his mortality. This movie starts off perfectly. We have the great Sam Elliott, who has the voice of a guy. Platinum cookies. The real good shit. <laughs> oh my god. That voice could sell a shit ton of weed, my friend. That's right, Nick Offerman. I love Sam Elliott's voice in this movie. After the great opening scene, we get into Lee Hayden, played by Sam Elliott. We get into who this character is as a person. And watching his life unfold in this movie was very interesting because we see the person who was at a point in their lives a fantastic presence who could command a screen and captivate an audience. Now this actor is dying and he's trying to find a moment of clarity in his life. He's trying to piece himself back together, I think. It's very interesting to see where this movie went with this Lee character. You could say that this movie is also a reflection on Sam Elliott himself. When you look at the past and how Westerns used to be the main genre in movies, it was the golden era. Now you transcend into the millennium, the 2000s, and you see that there is a dying breed with these particular kinds of actors. The past is no longer present. This man is struggling to deal with his mortality. He's dying internally. So as all of these new and some exciting things and some tragic things are happening in his life, he's trying to deal somehow. He's trying to find some way to figure things out before his time is up. As his character says in the movie, he wants to buy more time. As his character progresses throughout this extremely interesting story, which I found truly captivating, we meet some interesting characters that pop up in his life. Nick Offerman, who plays Jeremy Frost, is Lee Hayden's weed dealer. And we learn the brief history between the two, and that's pretty much all we needed. They don't get deep into their relationship as like friends or like this is the weed dealer and this is the person who buys the pot. We just learn who they are from a basic standpoint. And I found it very interesting. Nick Offerman is great in his role. He's funny as he always is. 
I would say that watching Nick Offerman in this movie, he seems like a pretty laid back guy who is friendly to everyone. And he seems like a guy you would definitely want to hang out with. Laura Prepon plays Charlotte, a love interest to Lee Hayden, played by Sam Elliott. And when I first saw her on screen, my mind immediately went to... My hands are huge! They're like boxing gloves! I am the greatest! Okay, champ, whatever you... <laughs> that 70s show. I just can't get that out of my head. She still reminds me of the girl from that 70s show. And I know that she also has a starring role, or did have a starring role, in the Netflix original series Orange is the New Black. And I saw the first few episodes with her in there, and I still couldn't get past the whole hey, you're from that 70s show thing with her. But when I saw her in this movie, my mind immediately went to that. But then as I saw her relationship unfold with Sam Elliott and their relationship progress throughout the movie, that's when I said to myself, I like the Charlotte character. This Laura, Laura she, she, she's fantastic. I loved her in this movie. The conversations she had with Sam Elliott and here were great. I really felt the relationship was real and genuine. I loved her performance. Christian Ritter plays Lee Hayden's daughter, Lucy Hayden. And she doesn't really have much to do here. She just shows up as like the typical daughter saying to her father, you never really spend time with me. We never really had a relationship. And that's pretty much it. Sam Elliott, the star of this show, the hero who plays Lee Hayden in this movie. Sam Elliott, like I said, this is the first movie that I have seen of Mr. Sam Elliott in a leading role and a movie with him in the leading role in its entirety. I have not seen Sam Elliott picture ever until now. And he's a, he's a good actor in this movie. His voice is so amazing. Like him doing a voiceover, him talking is is phenomenal. It's great. But not only that, he's a fantastic actor. Like he the way he just, he, he seen in this movie, he comes off as just a real person. He doesn't come off as a character. He comes off as a real person who has real heart, who is really genuine, and every relationship he has with every character in here feels real. I really enjoyed the hero. I, I didn't think I would, but I did. I enjoyed this movie. It definitely kept it kept me on the edge of my seat, believe it or not, it did. I was super interested in what was gonna happen next. The characters in this movie, the relationships with each other are interesting. All the characters are believable. Everyone plays their role perfectly. Sam Elliott, fantastic as a Lee in this movie. Uh, Laura, who plays the love interest, is fantastic here. I love all these characters, and I love Sam Elliott, and I love the story, and I love its progression. Uh, the only negative thing I could say about this is that I wish this movie were longer. The movie's only an hour and 30 minutes, and it feels short. I wish the movie was longer. I wish the movie was at least two hours. I wish they would have added at least an extra 30 minutes to this movie, stretched it out further so we can get more in depth with the characters and their relationships with each other, get the dynamics of who they are as people and amongst themselves and each other, and just execute more of the story. Just make this two hours of just pure emotion because there were a few scenes in here that there are a few scenes in here that are absolute tear jerkers. It's, it's a very touching movie. It's emotional. The performances from every actor in here, especially Sam Elliott, get, you, get your eyes. They made me cry. They made me eyes tear up, get watery. It's great. It's great, and I, I love the scenes in here where you see Sam Elliott, and he's just having a moment of clarity, and he's just like looking at the ocean. There are multiple scenes of him looking at the ocean. He's just looking out on the ocean, having a moment of clarity, and just soaking it all in. Like this movie shows real life in its most purest form. Sad and down and depressed, 
but yet there there could be these people that enter your life that that make everything worthwhile and make you have a moment of clarity and make you reflect on yes life is beautiful and life is short and we shouldn't be wasting our time just being depressed all the time you know life is going to throw us curveballs but yet we have to understand that there are people out there who care about us yes we may have made some mistakes in the past and it is important to try and right the wrongs of the past and to work our hardest and to do our best and i think sam elliott's character lee portrays that in the most purest form possible i would give the hero with sam elliott my first experience with sam elliott i would give this movie a solid a only negative thing I can say about this great movie is that we you know flush out these characters more, get in to get more information on like you know Sam Elliott's daughter in this movie and what their falling out was all about. Like movie doesn't really explain that; it's just like a basic situation. Um, but everything else is everything else is great in here. I wish you know just give more details in the characters flush out their relationships more, flush out who they are as characters more, and that's it. Just make it two hours. That's all I wanted, but it didn't do that. So if you haven't seen your hero, I highly recommend it. It might be one of my favorite movies of the year. I don't know. I have to watch it a few more times. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. I tried. It doesn't sound like his voice. His voice is fantastic. Lone Star Barbecue Sauce, the perfect partner for your chicken. That was great, Lee. Can you do one more?